Hello everyone, and uh, welcome to Full Grown Gaming's tutorial on how to um, install Free McBoot 1.8 on a, uh, uh, what's it called, PS2 memory card. And it's an exploit that lets you do a lot of stuff. It's basically jailbreaking a PS2. You can do a lot of stuff with it once you install this. And I hope you can follow this uh, tutorial. I mean, if you have any questions at all, ask me, but I have to make one stipulation there. I will not help people that appear to be trying to load um, pirated games. I don't really stand for that. So if you're pirating your games, you're going to have to ask somebody else. But for the rest of you, this is a tutorial on how to install Free McBoot. Now to do this, you're going to want to go to this website. I'll put it in the description. And go to, uh, actually, this website, Exploits. Come on. You know you want to load, man. Sometimes this computer can be really bad, but other times it's really good. This is the one I record, uh, you know, the gameplay with. But uh, scroll down. You're going to want to install, or not install, but you will install in a minute. Actually, you don't even have to install. It's in the zip file. But download PS2 Exploit Utility 5.0 Working. I already install or downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it again. And then scroll up and uh, download Free McBoot 1.8B Newbie Package. Now I'll go up here and go to Miscellaneous PS2 Apps. My voice sounds dry today. I don't know if you can hear that. And we will have uh, Mario and Conquer episodes out soon. I'm sorry for uh, waiting so long again, but uh, things come up sometimes and it just doesn't work out. But the next thing, or the last thing you even have to download is right here, PS2 Save Builder 08X. And like I said, I've already downloaded these. Here they are. Let's move them right here so you can see them. These two are zip files, and they should be able to be uh, unzipped just using Windows. If you can't, you know, unzip them, uh, I guess that's kind of a big problem. That's a really simple thing to do. But uh, this is a bit a different story. It's a dot .rar, and to extract that, you're going to probably need a program like 7-zip. Just uh, I'll put a link to that in the description too. But get all of these extracted. Get the newbie package extracted, the exploit utility extracted, and the save builder extracted. So I'm going to get rid of these because I don't know have a need for the uh, zipped files anymore. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. Now the first thing you're going to want to up upload, open is PS2 Exploit Utility. And just click on that. Run. And wait for that to open. And I, wait a second, I left something on a desk. Hold on. There we go, we need that. Anyway, title.db, don't worry about the welcome screen. Title.db, in this box right here, and this is very, very important, you have to have a PS1 original pressed retail game. PS1 and if you have one which you need to do this tutorial you look on you gotta find the uh, title the, the game ID and to find that you can do one of three things you can look on the spine of the disc uh, the, the jewel case you know and it'll say I'm using Spyro the Dragon by the way it says Spyro the Dragon and then to the right of that it says and you have to type it in just like this just change the letters and numbers to whatever your game is S-C-U-S underscore 942.28 These are the letters and numbers, you know, on my disc. They're actually, they're on the disc under the rating, and they're also on the box to the right of the name on the uh, spine of the, the case. And also, if you can't find it on either of those, you can put the disc in your disc drive and add a uh, get ID from CD, and it'll find it for you. So whatever it is, it has to be four letters, an underscore, three numbers, a dot, and then two more numbers. And they have to be the right letters and numbers to match the game that you're doing, or it won't work. So click add to title.db, and you are done with this screen. Now click loader, and don't worry about this, that's fine how it is. Well, my voice just cracked. I don't know why that's happening, it's probably because my throat's so dry. <clears throat> uh, sorry again. <laughs> Go to files, don't worry about that yet. Uh, we're just trying to install free McBoot. We don't need to worry about that. Don't worry about IP options. Just make sure this is no region. If you know whatever region you are, if you're NTSC, use this one. PAL, use this one. Japan, use this one. Most of you are probably NTSC, so click that. But whatever you are, make sure you click the right one. Now, extras, you don't really have to worry about that. 
Now create exploit and this is also very important. Click memory card format XPS. There. And just click create exploit and it, a box will pop up in just a second. You do just you don't have any elf files, click continue anyway. That's not the point of this uh, tutorial. The tutorial is for installing free McBoot. And some uh, command prompts will pop up really fast, so you don't have to worry about that. <coughs> oh, like I said, man, my throat is so dry, and I didn't bring water in here. It's all right, though. Let's wait for this to uh, create the exploit. There we go. It's starting up. An XPS file has been built here, blah, blah, blah. Now click, just close out of everything. Click no. Wait for that to shut down. And the, the file you just made is in my computer, local disk C, and the IS central, is central, whatever, folder. I'm going to go ahead and put that on my desktop just to make it easier. And there it is. Now what you're going to want to do is open PS2 save builder. Here that is. And click file, open and then find the IS central folder you made. It should be on your desktop if you followed the tutorial so far. And click IS central XPS and open that. Now you don't have to worry about any of this, just click file, save as. And then just on your desktop name it and it has to be this exact thing. Your whoop, I don't want it in caps. I don't know if that matters, but don't do it anyway. I know this method works, so just do this. Do your space system no space configuration or space system configuration and under save as type click port you know dot md and save it on the desktop and that should just take a second yeah it's already done so now I set a ps2 save builder and here's the your system dot you know whatever and you're gonna need to click rename the uh, the extension of the file to dot ps2 change it from .md to .ps2. If you don't see the .md, you're going to need to go to uh, Start, Control Panel, and then go to Folder Options, and then I'll just go ahead and show you that. Start, Control Panel. Let's wait for that to load. Folder Options, View, and then scroll down, and make sure this is unchecked. Hide Extensions. Make sure that's unchecked. And then click OK, X. Now, it should be Your System Configuration .ps2 you don't need this anymore so get rid of that now where's my flash drive hold on let me pick my flash drive up from way over there on the other side of my room there we are now I'm gonna plug this in real quick alright there it is and I'm just gonna delete this we'll be eventually putting those back in there I just want to show you a fresh start but uh, I'm using a Kingston Data Traveler 1 gigabyte flash drive it pretty much has to be FAT or FAT16 FAT32 won't work and neither will NTFS as far as I know so uh, make sure it's FAT the uh, file system and copy your system configuration .ps2 to the uh, root of the flash drive and also copy the newbie package to the flash drive. Wait for that to do that. All right. Now on your flash drive, you should have two. You should have a folder and a file. Your system configuration .ps2 and newbie package folder with all of this stuff in it. And it should be fine as long as you just downloaded it and didn't change it. You don't have to worry about any putting anything in here yet. You can put apps on the uh, flash drive too, but we'll get to that maybe in a later tutorial. But uh, your flash drive is now ready to be worked on by uh, the Game Shark. So I will see you over on the PS2 side of things shortly. All right, here we are on the uh, PS2 side of things. Now what you're going to want to do is take your Game Shark, take that out right now, throw it in the disk tray, close it, and let it load up. And I'm going to save you guys the boredom of having to watch everything load. Just everything you need to know right now. Don't plug the flash drive in yet. So just leave it. And I will see you as soon as this is done loading. Alright, we're getting close to getting to the main menu. So I thought I'd start this back up.
Now once the uh, main menu loads up, which it will just in a second, here it is, uh, take the flash drive with the system configuration, your system configuration, and that uh, newbie folder thing. Plug the flash drive into the, uh, there we go, the USB port on the front, and it'll freeze for just a second, and then you'll be fine. Go down to Memory Manager and Game Saves. Now on this screen, read game saves, click no. We don't want to do that. Now it'll take a second to load and read everything. Now all I have on my memory card are those two files. You should have a lot if you've been using yours. So all you got to do is uh, go over, to press L2, highlight, go down, highlight uh, your system configuration.ps2, click X, and then click circle, and then click copy to target, and it should copy it over. And it should take just a second depending on how big the files are involved and sometimes it will um, freeze you have to be wary of that but the good thing is if it does freeze all you gotta do is reset your PS2 and it'll be there and I'll tell you how to make sure if it is there or not so now what you gotta do just go ahead and restart your system and take out the uh, game shark for now actually we don't need it anymore uh, it's done its job putting the hack on the uh, memory card Go ahead and put that um, PS1 game in there, but it has to be the same one that you put in there on the uh, system ID or the game ID, but before the game loads, go click on a browser, there we go, click on browser, and then check the memory card. It should say, uh, is central, is dot, no, is central dot net PS2. If it says that, when you highlight that PS2 box looking thing, then you are set. Even if it froze before, because that happens to me sometimes, it will freeze in the copy process. Just wait like a minute and it should be fine. So now the PS1 game is in there and we have the hacked iscentral.net PS2 file on the memory card, which we got there by using the Game Shark. And so let's load up the PS1 disc and see what happens. This should be Spyro, right? Oh, I clicked the wrong button. Uh, it's not Spyro, obviously. It's the browser again. So there, let me click X on it. And let's play Spyro. I cannot wait to play this. I haven't played this in years. Whoa. What was that? Uh, okay. Well, it's a good thing. That was supposed to happen. This is the Ulaunch Elf uh, browser. This is where you launch all your programs. Uh, homebrew stuff. So go down and click on Mass. And you have to use the Circle button to select, not the X button. So click Circle on that. And then highlight the newbie package. Or not highlight it. There we go. Highlight it, highlight the newbie package, click R1, and then click copy using the circle button. And it should say copy to the clipboard at the top. And I'm dropping the camera. There we go. So click triangle a couple of times and get back to this screen and go up to MC0 and click circle. And then go down to BADATA -A -A system. Click circle again. Now click triangle, whoop, not triangle, R1 paste and it should paste the necessary files in there for you and I already had an install folder in here before from before so don't worry about that it'll go ahead and paste whatever you need in there it shouldn't take long and I would like to thank, take this time to thank Tommy for letting me borrow this game shark from him uh, I couldn't have done this without you so thank you it's like a I don't know a paid ad in there or something sorry about that but I also I know I saw talked about this for a second before but uh, Mario Episode 18 will be out tomorrow, and um, Conquer Episode 3 should be out today. I mean, it really should. But uh, here we go. And I'm going to go ahead and delete this install folder I had from before because it's not really necessary. Oh, I'm pushing buttons. That's a beans term, pushing buttons. Oh, man, now I'm really pushing buttons. All right, go back to B-A-D-A-T-A. -A -A. I'm going to delete that folder because we don't need it. I don't need it. We need it, but not right there, because it's in the newbie package folder right here. So go to freemcboot.elf, which, let me show you again, just from the beginning. This is the path folder. Now click on MC0, go down to BADATA-system, and then go down to newbie package, and then go to freemcboot.elf. Click circle on that, and the freemcboot.elf loader should load up. And there it is. Now what you're going to want to do, what I do, is just click normal install, click X button this time. This will install free McBoot on memory card 1. Continue, yes. Loading, it should check the size, how much you have available. And if it has enough memory, it will install it for you. And then it will go through. Let me see if I can zoom in so you can see it. 
Uh, not really, but you get the point. And if you don't have enough space, just clear out some stuff, copy it over, whatever you got to do. Because I think it really is worth it having this on there. Uh, it takes 3.3 megabytes. It's not that big, really. But, uh, yep, it does nothing to your PS2, by the way. It does not, uh, it, I don't think there's even a risk of working your PS2 at all, because it doesn't write anything to the PS2. It just uses the flash drive. But uh, I'm waiting for this to uh, finish writing all the files. And it should be done in just a second. The writing elf files is the one that takes the longest because it's got to write all those files, you know. Link them to uh, the free McBoot thing. And free McBoot installed successfully on memory card 1. You can read that. But that's what it says. Now that it's done, go over to launch. And just let me go over here. You don't really need the multi-version install, really. And the free McBoot configurator, you don't need that right now. You can do format memory card if you just want to get rid of everything and start over and uninstall. So right now, click launch FMCB, free McBoot. Checking free McBoot. And there it goes. Oh, I'm drifting off the TV there. Sorry about that. And this is what will happen. It says free McBoot, get it free, blah, 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 blah. Now this is what will pop up. And let me, I'll show you again in a second. Hold on. And this is the new uh, menu that will pop up. Oh, I forgot it had the PS2, PS1 disc in there. Let me start it over. Let's eject that so it doesn't load. And instead of the opening cinematic of the PS2, this will load. And it will load a different menu than you're probably used to. System, you launch Elf, ESR, a bunch of apps right here, which I might get into in a later video. But uh, that's it for now. Uh, you have successfully installed Free McBoot. Uh, like this video if it helped you. I know I had like little time to do this, and I'm sorry if it seems a little over the place. If you have any questions before you do this, please ask. There's really no risk of anything except maybe losing a save file here or there. But I've done this install four or five times, and I have never lost a save file. But for some of you, I'm not saying, well, you know, just some people might, you know, have bad luck, like the catches we used to talk about. But uh, if that helped you, thank you for watching. Please like the video, subscribe if you want. And let me just go ahead and show you before we are done what happens. Let's take this out of here so it doesn't load by accident. Okay. Let's close that. And let's turn off the PS2 for a second. Now here is the memory card with free McBoot on it. Throw that off to the side for a second. Now let's turn on the PS2 and see what happens. It boots up like normal. See, it does nothing to the PS2 whatsoever. And I will do one more with the memory card in. Here's the memory card going in the PS2. Turn it on again and see what happens. There we go. Now, now Free McBoot has been successfully installed. If like I said, if anything was confusing, please feel free to ask. Uh, I didn't have much time to do this, and, you know, I just wanted to get it out before I have to give that Game Shark back tomorrow. Tommy, if you're watching this. Uh, this has been Full Grown Gaming's tutorial on how to install free, install free McBoot on a memory card uh, using Game Shark. Thank you, and I hope you watch whatever videos we come up with next. See ya.